Hi, thanks for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard, and this is really a fun acid test Grateful Dead concert poster from March of 1966, but instead of San Francisco, it's one of the series of Los Angeles acid test events. Um, so that makes it different and interesting in its own regard, but probably the most um, the coolest aspect of this poster is the fact that it was actually designed by Owsley Stanley, the legendary and famous Owsley Stanley, who was, um, and he was known as Bear, and he was a close associate of the Grateful Dead, and he was also, um, he was their manager and finance, uh, fin financer for a while, and he also was <laughs> known for producing uh, massive quantities of um, LSD, so which befits certainly an acid test. But this is just really, this is really a scarce poster because um, they only banged out like a hundred or so at the last minute, and this one's in beautiful mint condition, but definitely the real thing, the real McCoy. And again, it's, um, you know, it's down in uh, Hollywood at Troopers Hall in Los Angeles, um, which uh, we're like a half block off of Sunset and La Brea for you Southern Californians who might know the area. And um, it's, uh, it's, you know, the, the acid test events were, um, um, well, well, you might, first of all, you might say to yourself, wait a minute, it doesn't say acid test on it like the other things I've shown on this blog or the other acid test posters you've, um, that you've, uh, you've seen. Well, that's because, per, actually, one has to surmise. I don't want to state opinion as fact, but the heat was really growing on these acid tests. The cops were getting hit. There was one at UCLA had been canceled just before this gig because, you know, oh, acid test, LSD, and all this stuff. Um, even though it wasn't outlawed yet, it wouldn't be outlawed in California until October of 66. But uh, Owsley just decided in this case, or whoever, the promoter, whatever, decided to just go ahead and leave the acid test off the poster. Instead, it says, bring your mind. In fact, I'll give you a close-up scan of this from top to bottom. Um, obviously not psychedelic colors like many of the uh, posters, although the acid tests actually didn't have too much in the way of psychedelic co colors on their posters probably felt people would bring the colors in their mind, didn't they? So, um, they, you know, they're, they're viewed with um, great history now, in, in uh, retrospect, looked back upon, but at the time they were very, they were so seminal, and I don't want to say unprofessional, but the, the money level was so low that they were just happening hipster scenes for just the very cutting edge early adapters of the psychedelic uh, lifestyle and so forth. And, and for example, for this, particular event, um, you know, the box office consisted of just a card table set up with a cigar box and uh, only like a hundred people, maybe over a hundred people attended. Is that small? That's like, you know, a fifth the size of, uh, you know, the rocks here, the bottom line or something. Just, you know, just heads, right? Just heads. And uh, and so they, they netted something like $75 on the evening and then went out and blew it all at breakfast anyway. So, um, so uh, a great poster design, the only poster designed by Bear by Owsley Stanley. That's really weird and interesting, but it, it really makes it a, a key piece for that reason. Now, um, I did cut this video blog once before, and I'm replacing it with this because somebody wrote in and made a good point. They said, wait a minute, that's not an acid test poster. That's not an acid test event. There was no Ken Kesey, who was the main merry prankster. Um, you know, it's down in Los Angeles, and there's no Neil Cassidy, uh, and there's no psychedelic bus, and, and they just really felt. But, um, the, the acid test movement, which started, of course, in late 65 up in the Bay Area, shifted down to Los Angeles, and Ken Kesey himself was not here because he had fled to Mexico to avoid authorities over a, a second drug bust he was trying to escape. And uh, the Grateful Dead, though, is really the unifying theme here. And also Ken Babs was a major merry prankster who was at the very first um, acid test and uh, at the spread, and he was here for this as well. And so... Most um, music historians and collectors of acid test memorabilia and so forth do consider the Los Angeles gigs, even though they didn't have Ken Kesey, didn't have Neil Cassidy, nor the bus or whatever, still to be very valid acid test events. And so we're going to go along with that. Of course, I have nothing invested either way. It's just interesting to, to discuss that. I wanted to point it out. So um, most serious collectors do absolutely consider the L.A. shows to be acid test events because they were anchored by the Grateful Dead, after all. And uh, there were pranksters present, and the whole... The whole um, mantra or theme behind these these shows in LA was also to expand your mind, help people discover themselves through multimedia presentations, music, acid, awareness speeches, and things like that. So anyway, it's a rare poster, and that's why we're here, and uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing it. It's great fun showing it to you, and uh, thanks for stopping by. Have a good day.